what's going on everybody Vince Goodrum here and I'm here at the Walmart grocery store and thought I want to film this video today so I could show you guys you know what to use and what not to use here there's a lot of vitamins minerals supplements and stuff like that but I'm gonna hook you up and show you the right way not just for bodybuilding not just for fitness physical but just to all to be overall healthy so essentially I'm gonna show you what I normally get and I'm also gonna show you what you can get and what you can't get at a store alright you guys this is my very first product this is uh, cinnamon 1000 uh, milligrams I especially love using this product here because you know it not only helps out with metabolism it also helps out with sugar metabolism more importantly uh, you know it helps out with the proteins and fats and just getting them through the body as well as your carbohydrates here you know this is also very good for diabetics to also use in the event that you know uh, you know in order to keep themselves regulated you know and with proper use of this here you can cut down on how many injections and how many pills uh, that you have to pop being a diabetic there uh, a lot of times uh, most people are diabetic there and you know even though uh, some forms of di uh, diabetes is incurable there you know by using a simple supplement there such as cinnamon that will regulate your sugar metabolism you know it'll definitely help out at not only in keeping you uh, metabolically healthy there but you know it'll definitely cut down on you know just how many injections you need and less injections means less money out of your pocket there uh, this bottle here big giant bottle just 9988 so if you're a diabetic or uh, if you just want some metabolism support in order to you know help you out this here is the way to go alright this is another product that I use now I normally use the Advocare brand instead of the Spring Valley brand but this here is vitamin C it's excellent for immune health there you know it you know keeps the body built up there and keeps you from getting sick here so uh, you know want to make sure you get the highest milligrams of vitamin C here but you know this is a very inexpensive very affordable supplement there you know because you know if you have your immune system up and running there you know that not only prevents you from being sick there but you know keeps you from missing out on those workout days simple supplement very good to get recommend this one here as well alright guys we're in the sports supplement counter here and look at all this stuff here you got uh, muscle tag crea tag body fortress and all this other stuff there and what am I gonna get from this shelf absolutely nothing here let me show you this product here for example here this here is hydroxy high hardcore elite sport avoid this product at all costs there not only is it thirty dollars here but you know it's just filled with nothing more than stimulants here you know you can get this from a cup of coffee there you know not only that it also has yohimbi in it there yohimbi will restrict your blood vessels here so you have this all combined together it's gonna mess you up really bad there so don't touch this stuff here just put it back on the shelf here I don't recommend it at all here here's another garbage product out here you know myo build it still builds on those uh, I'm sure you guys remember those old commercials where it had that show that big giant cow uh, with the myostatins and everything it's just nothing more than fake product you know you don't want to use this stuff here as well I mean it's still a bunch of stimulants here you know when you take a pre-workout you take caffeine you take caffeine pills and all this stuff here you know overstimulation of the body you know eventually if you take that for a prolonged period of time you know it's gonna really mess with your heart rate there and you definitely don't want to be doing that so just put this back on the shelf here all right we have some genuine muscle milk there definitely want to stay away from this here because it's got a high amount of fat in it there so keep away from these products here I mean let's read this label here uh, look at that look at that set I mean it's got saturated fats and all other sorts of stuff in here so yeah, you don't want to mess with that there. There's a lot better stuff for that. Not only that, it's like 20 bucks. Too much. Alright, so these are things I'm going to get myself here that I actually find enjoyable. These are Lenny and Larry's Complete Cookie Protein here. You know, it is 8 grams of fiber. That's plenty good. You know, uh, no egg, no dairy, no soy, 
non-GMO. It's also a vegan product. So if you're a vegan, you know, you can get an excellent source of protein, you know, and these are very delicious here, you know, great in calories, very low in sodium, very low in carbohydrates as well. I wouldn't recommend this for a ketogenic diet there, but you know, I actually have these for a snack there. You know, it's very important that you get, you know, at least five or six meals in a day and have them spread out there because if you eat like three or two meals, you know, uh, it causes your body to go into starvation mode. And once you go and eat again, your body's going to hoard most of that as fat. So make sure that you always get, you know, uh, five meals in. And if you're going to get those five meals in, you may as well. Uh, enjoy yourself there so get some Larry and Lenny's cookies here you know it's one of my favorite things I like to have there so. now some people really don't talk too much about this here but you know foot health is very important whenever you're training especially when you're doing squats here so uh, if you have some old tennis shoes and stuff like that there and you don't feel like spending the money at the very least you know, get some stuff that'll help out with lower back pain there. Because a lot of times you got these idiots up there going to chiropractors when all they really need to do is just simply change, you know, their uh, pads in their shoes there, basically. You know, that would solve all your problems there. You know, this here is 1188 for this year. How much does it cost for a chiropractor? 150 bucks? Come on, think about it for a bit. You got Dr. Scholes, you got lower back pain, you got it for arch pain. So before going to a chiropractor, if your back's hurting there, first thing you need to do is actually ch look and see what's actually in the soles of your shoes there. And if they're all worn down and busted up and everything, hey, get a pack of these here. You can't go wrong with it.